Oh, hello. Sorry, you uh, caught me while I was pretending to be interrupted during a real-life moment. Uh, but we all know I set this camera up, so who are we fooling? Anyway, uh, let me show you around a little bit. So, um, this is basically it. This is the channel. Um, there's the uh, top, bottom, sides, corners. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> Um, so here's, here's, here's pretty much uh, what we're going for here. Uh, I uh, am a kind of amateur woodworker. Um, I, I am intending to get better uh, as time goes on, as I hope you know, we all are. Um, I have a scroll saw right now, and uh, I have it on relatively good authority that probably come Christmas time, I'll have uh, maybe a lathe, maybe a, um, maybe a router, anyway. My point is, uh, I, uh, I'm pretty good on the scroll saw, but I've only kind of done like portraits and other sort of toys for my kid. And, and uh, we, uh, my wife and I sort of have a small business that we're, that we're trying to uh, start up. So we've made a few things for, uh, for that. And we, we've had some moderate successes. Anyway, um, what I'm hoping this channel will be is um, not perfect, you know? Um, I feel like there are a lot of channels where you can watch people making amazing things. And uh, while that's incredible, that's, I, I get inspired by, by stuff like that. Um, I'm also sort of hoping that this can be a little bit not quite that. Because you always know when you're watching those other channels, you always know that the thing ultimately is going to be pretty freaking incredible. And while that's great, um, I also think that there's some value to seeing somebody figuring it out you know, and not always getting it right. Um, and kind of, I, I don't really want to say like I'll be teaching you, but we can kind of be learning together to some extent. Or if you just want to watch somebody trying to, trying to figure out, I hope, I hope that that'll be enjoyable as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. And uh, I do apologize because this very first episode um, is not going to be in the garage a lot. We started off in the garage because I figured just visually it should, it should be that way. But um, uh, I'm going to take you on into, uh, into uh, the house to, uh, to see what project I've been working on for a little while and uh, to get a little bit more work done on that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. All right. Come on. All right. So uh, first of all, I want to apologize for the kind of crappy lighting. Uh, <laughs> um, the, uh, all this stuff will kind of be figured out as the, uh, as the channel gets figured out. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and start off. I will let you know what I'm working on right now. Um, as I am making this episode, it is November 1st, so Halloween was just yesterday. So I figure, what better time to get started on Christmas, eh, right? Um, so what I'm working on, sorry if I'm being odd here, my cat is messing with the camera. Um, so what I'm, what I'm trying to do is to work on some Christmas gifts. And what I've already started, uh, working on is a gift that will uh, hopefully work out and then will be for my uh, my uncle who uh, like myself is a big giant nerd and so what i have is can you see that is the tardis um on a device that i'm not going to name by name right now but anyway um so i have the tardis uh there and then uh, on another layer i have um just the outline of the TARDIS. You see that? Yeah. So what I'm hoping to do is to make um, basically an intarsia of the TARDIS. An intarsia. Uh, an intarsis. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work like you think it should. Um, so I'm hoping to do that. Now here's the here's the tricky thing. I've never actually made an intarsia before. Um, so I have I have the outline like you already saw. Um, and my hope is to uh, right now kind of figure out um, a uh, sort of sort of uh, color scheme. Um, I don't want to paint it, ideally, although it, it might come to that. Um, ideally, what I'd like is for it to be kind of the TARDIS in various shades of natural wood color. Um, without getting too pricey, you can actually get, like, Purple Heart or... Um, or like Paduk is kind of kind of orange. Like you can actually get woods that are that are colorful. But I, I what I'm hoping to do with this is to keep it all basically wood brown, 
but um, various shades of brown that kind of uh, still reflect the color scheme of the TARDIS, if that makes any sense. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for this episode is basically going through and coloring um, in various shades of brown to see if I like the look of that, and then if I think I'd be able to actually pull that off um, with, uh, with the woods that I have or with the woods that I have access to. So uh, on that note, I guess uh, a lot of the rest of this episode is going to be um, fast-forwarded coloring in. So I hope you enjoy that. All right. <laughs> All right, kids. Uh, kids? I don't know why I called you kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, slight change of plan. Um, I decided to spare you, possibly, uh, having to watch me color various shades of brown. Um, I guess on some level I figured maybe that wouldn't be particularly exciting to you. And then also on another level, I couldn't find a good angle. So, um, I, will, I, will <laughs> I will work on the uh, specific... Uh, technicalities of these videos as time goes on. But um, I did uh, go ahead and do what I was hoping to and uh, I wanted to show it to you. So here's how it is looking right now. Um, what I decided was that I wanted to do as close as I as close as I could I wanted to do um, just three tones. Um, I have I think right now I have like walnut, cherry, and maple uh, just in my garage right now, and, and they're kind of, you know, one's a lighter brown, one's a kind of mid-tone, and one's a darker, and so I figured, you know, if I could figure out how to do it um, with just the three tones that I kind of already have, maybe that would be good, you know, uh, a little bit easier than going out and getting, getting other stuff for that. Uh, now, obviously, uh, what you're looking at is not... Uh, cleaned up. You'll see a lot of parts where different shades are bleeding into the other. I'm gonna clean that up. And honestly, uh, even right now, I'm not entirely sure if I like the look of it. It kind of looks like if the TARDIS was a chocolate bar. Um, maybe that's maybe that's okay though. Um, now the actual woods that I have are not quite exactly these tones, but um, you know, I yeah, I, I actually I don't I don't dislike it. I'm just not entirely sure if I'm in love with it. So I'm going to um, be done with it for the night. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to clean it up and then, and then I'm going to sort of sleep on it uh, for, for the night and, um, and have another look at it tomorrow with fresh eyes and see what I think about it then. And uh, if I do still like it, then I'll proceed with this. And then if I, if I change my mind, then I'll, I'll probably uh, go back to thinking about whether I want to just paint it. Um, especially for something that is so iconically the color that it is, I'm not sure if uh, not having it be blue will still read as TARDIS. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, uh, that's, what, that's what we have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too um, blah, all over the place. Um, I swear I will get better at the vlogging aspect of this. And also, at some point, we will actually be sawing um, so that'll be, that'll be, <laughs> that'll be a lot of fun on this uh, woodworking channel where we didn't have any wood on the first episode. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good time. Um, I sure did. And I will see you guys for part two of, um, of this particular project. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.